So I see that you have some family here. Who's over here? Oh my goodness. This is my son, Henry. Hello. His cousin, Lily. My niece, Jessica, and my nephew, Percy. And they are visiting from England. <laughs> That's great. It's great they're good fans and we couldn't get them seats. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Just squished them over to the side. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, so, so I know you a little bit. I know you're a good person and I assume you're a good mom. Uh, is she a good mom? Um, so-so. Oh, so-so. <laughs> right. Henry? All right. No, she's an amazing mom. Yeah, no, I would think she's a good mom, but the only thing I do know about you is uh, you enjoy a good curse word. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I do swear like a sailor. Yeah, so um, I don't know why it's only sailors. There's a lot of people that swear, but we, <laughs> sailors get such a bad, a bad rap. rap. <laughs> yeah. But so you're, you, ha you have a, sw a swear jar at home? Yeah, we... we Henry actually invented the swear jar because he was sick of, of my swearing and also felt that he could make some easy cash. Yeah, so smart, Henry, really yeah. smart. So how much goes in? Is it, is it the, the, the um, severity of the word or is it like some words are worth more? Or yes, yeah. The F word was worth $5. Wow. Um, the S word, the A word, the D word, uh -huh. all $1 words. $1 words. Um, <laughs> And then, like, your regular damn and, um... Well, gee, I thought the D word was damn. I don't know... <laughs> now I'm trying to think what the D word was. It's more male-centric. Oh, well, that, that, that should be five. That should... <laughs> up that one to five, Henry. <laughs> um, so, uh, there's probably... There's, uh, there's some really cool stuff in the Ellen shop, so I'm gonna raise some money for you right now, so after the show, you can go shop. Have at it. Go ahead. Buggering... Bags, why can I not bollocking well stop swearing? I'm such a <laughs> idiot, and it's also mostly British swearing, so you probably don't understand it. That's not <laughs> Damn it! No! Ah! Okay. That's ten. That's another ten dollars. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna round that up. That's got to be thirty dollars, right? <laughs> So, uh, I saw a picture of you today in the meeting of... How old are you in this picture you posted? Oh, oh, I was, I was 12. First of all, Henry, you look just like that. <laughs> That's what she always says. You do, you really do. You were 12, you look very solemn there. Were you sad or...? Yes, yeah, just... his look at my hair. <laughs> That's fantastic hair. Did you not like that hair? At the time, you have to remember that this was in the 80s and the only people that looked like me were, like, in hair bands. So I was called Slash at school. Uh -huh. Which you'd think would be cool, but it wasn't, because uh -huh. I was a little girl. Um, no one looked like me. Um, and then the following year, Flashdance came out, and I truly believed that I, I looked a bit like Jennifer Beals. Uh -huh. And obviously then wanted, you know, to be a welder and date a man who was a hundred years older than me. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> did you try any of those things? <laughs> no. Uh, no. I didn't. I did uh, become a bit of a dancer, though. Yeah. So, and you're an American citizen now? I'm an American citizen, yes. As of when? I am. Oh. Thank you. How long yeah. ago? So, December of last year, uh -huh. I became an American citizen. It was very moving, amazing. I was sworn in by the most incredible female judge who gave a rousing speech. Um, it was, it was, it was really. Oh, there's a picture of me and my mum. My mum cried um, because I had to forswear the queen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was, it was, it was really incredible. And I've, um, I voted for the first time. Yay! Which was incredibly exciting. Yeah, important. That was amazing. And, um, yeah, I like being... I like being an American with a British accent. Uh-huh. And I, what, what has changed about now that you're a citizen? Well, I love the Dodgers. I've learnt to love baseball. Being a soccer yeah. fan... Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a Chelsea fan. Um, a, 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 thank you. Um, just the one, then. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I've learnt to love baseball. It took a minute. But I went to... Just before I became a citizen, I saw the Dodgers play the Diamondbacks in one of the most amazing games ever. Yes. Another one? It's the same person, yes. like yes. Chelsea and the Dodgers. Just the one. Uh -huh. And uh, Matt Kemp. Matt Kemp hit a three-run homer that, um, that had the stadium erupt, and I've never, I've never seen a stadium erupt, and I felt so glad that I could, I could celebrate as an American. Oh, well, good for you. That, that is great. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> let's, let's talk about Speechless, because this is... Uh, the finale's coming up, right? The finale's coming up of our third season, and it is... It's great. It's a bit of a tearjerker. Mm -hmm. um, this episode that's on Friday is the setup for what uh, for what happens. And the thing about the show that is good is that I feel like we earn the emotional moments in the show, and that this kind of self-aware narcissist that I play on the show can also be um, a deeply loving mother. And there was a scene that I have with Micah Fowler that was one of the one of the great moments I had on the show. And the editors, who never generally come out of the editing bay, did say that it made them cry. Oh, that's... So it's good. Yeah, that is great. I mean, it's, it's that's good beautiful. to make grown men cry. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it's also funny. It's funny and, and emotional. So I didn't laugh at that. him, but later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Speechless airs Friday nights at 8.30 on ABC. We will be right back. Mini Driver.